In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys the fastest base and the most consistent and easiest jump shot to time in NBA 2K25. This base is very similar to Set Shot 25 from NBA 2K22, which is super fast, but it's also very easy to time. I'm also going to be giving you guys the best shooting settings in the game to make the jump shot even better. And for those of y'all who aren't going to have a high enough rating to get the exact jump shot I'm showing y'all, I'm going to be showing you guys a way to cheat around it to lower it. And for those of y'all that don't have a build over 6'5 or a tall guard yet, I will be dropping this build very soon, and y'all would not regret making it. But let's go ahead and get right into the video make sure to drop a like and sub up if you're new all right y'all first i'm gonna go ahead and start off by showing you all the jump shot settings i use every setting that you need to equip for this jump shot and just for jump all your jump shots in general which are really helpful super easy to use and are going to help you open your green window up and time your jump shot way easier so for the first thing is high risk reward the shot timing profile please make sure y'all are using high risk reward high risk reward gives you the literal biggest green window out of all of these options it's literally a fact it's a known statistic Normal risk reward, you're going to make some whites, and then you're going to green, obviously, some shots when you perfectly time it, but it does shrink your green window a little bit, and there's really no point to be making whites when you can just green everything and have a way bigger green window. Trust me, get used to high risk reward. Make sure you do have vibration off as well, because when you're having your meter off, having vibration off or on just kind of messes me up. It kind of just vibrates, and it just, I don't know, it just messes me up. I've always had it off, but that's obviously a more preference kind of thing. And then shot timing visual cue. Obviously, this is all up to preference in the end of the day. There's some people I know that use set point and are really good at shooting. I've always used push. If y'all are struggling to shoot in this game, I do recommend trying push. And I'm going to show y'all exactly why when I'm showing y'all the jump shot. Because there's a really specific point to release your jump shot at. And it really does help with push. It makes it a super easy visual cue. So go ahead and put push on. All right, y'all. Now go to jump shot creator. Just name it whatever you want. And then for the base, this base is very good. As I was telling y'all, it's literally just like set shot 25 from 2K22. It's really quick and it honestly is super hard to contest. If you have any open separation, you're going to be greening with this jump shot right here. So y'all are going to scroll all the way down. I really do hate how they did the whole list this year instead of pages because you had to scroll for so long when you get later in the alphabet. I'd be saying the alphabet in my head sometimes when I'm trying to find it. All right, here we are. Right here, Luke Kennard. Luke Kennard. Sorry, I said it wrong. Luke Kennard. This is a really good jump shot right here. You do need at least a 76 three-point shot to use this base and a 76 mid-range. Obviously, it's going to go up with the animations I use for my releases personally, but I'm going to show you all a little thing, a little trick that I actually did not know about until someone told me that if you can't unlock both releases. So my favorite release in the game and probably a lot of people's favorite release in the game for literal multiple years has been Oscar Robertson. So I use Oscar Robertson on my jump shot releases. I'm going to show you all obviously the rating... Um, requirements are going to go up based on the better releases you put on your jump shot. So I'm going to show you all a thing. Y'all can do a little trick. But um, for me, I do both double Oscar Robertson. That is because I have an 87 mid-range on my build. That is why when I do, when y'all are making an ISO build, which I'm going to be dropping my ISO build soon. Make sure I do sub up and turn noties on. I'm going to be dropping my really good tall ISO build that is 6'6 soon that I use this jump shot on. But when y'all are making a build like that, I do recommend y'all go high on mid-range. Obviously, so you can actually just fade mid-ranges and just for their animation purposes. So as of right now, already we have to have a mid-range of an 81 and a three-point shot of an 81. Now I know some tall guards y'all go like 79 three. My three is an 83 on this build but some of y'all is going to be a little lower. That's why I recommend going higher on mid-range. You need an 81 mid-range as well and you do having a high mid-range just really helps. So this is the trick though. I know this might sound dumb. I thought someone was like on acid when they were telling me to do this the first time but if you do like say you have an 81 mid-range or you cannot go any higher i put oscar robertson on my, for my release too by the way go ahead and put that on if y'all can't unlock that you need an 87 though if you don't you leave default swing on as up release too i know that sounds stupid and ridiculous but i promise it's really similar to if you just had this release on with something else i promise now you can scroll through and find other releases but default swing is going to have you unlocking oscar robertson anything else you put on is going to require a pretty high mid-range once you have oscar robertson as release one trust me try this out i promise this is really good to do and it is not going to hurt you at all default swing is still really good obviously not as good as having double oscar robertson let's just state the obvious but it's still really good and you have the best best base in the game with the best up release one in the game and your up release two can take a little bit of a hit on that so I'm going to go ahead and put on Oscar Robertson for up release too, because that's what I have. If y'all can't unlock that, again, make sure I do put on Oscar for both. If not, keep on uh, default swing. I'm still going to show you the exact same settings. Everything else about the jump shot is the exact uh, same. All right, so now we have Oscar Robertson as both of our releases. So as I was showing you all my settings, I use push. In my opinion, that is the easiest release visual cue to use. And so when you bring it, what I started off doing at the beginning of the year, I brought it right here because that's what I assumed because the line of push is right there. But you actually want to bring it a little bit past it, not too far, just like a little bit right there. And what you're going to do is release it. See when his hand flicks all the way back and it's cocked all the way back flat? 
That is basically when you're going to release it right about then and when he's about to start his flicking animation when you do push timing, which is super easy to time in my opinion because it almost freezes there for a second. So that is why I love push visual cue the most. Upper, I mean, a release speed, you're going to go maximum, obviously, and then the blending doesn't matter. Those who, those of you who don't have an 87 three-point or mid-range like I do, um, when y'all are doing the thing with the upper release too, as I was telling y'all, you know, if you have, um, what's it called on? Hold on, I'll go all the way to the top. If y'all are not able to do double Oscar Robertson, which is totally fine, like I was saying, it's completely fine if you cannot put default swing on. And what y'all are going to do, though, is bring your animation to Oscar as far as you can to where you can unlock it. So say if I have an 83 mid-range, I'm gonna bring it as far as I can, boom, to where it's at 83, so 69 Oscar, Vice, or you know, et cetera, et cetera. If you have an 84 mid range, boom, bring it further. Basically, bring it to Oscar as far as you can, um, based on your ratings. That's the best tip I have. That thing actually changed me because on my popper, I don't have a high mid range or three pointer, so I can't use this stuff right here. I can use Luke Kennard and Oscar Robertson, and then my uh, default swing, and I can bring it about to, I think I had an 81 mid range on that, so I brought it about to here, or like a 60. But that is uh, my tips for this jump shot right here. All right, man, I also am gonna go ahead and show y'all the best shooting animations in the game. It's gonna just be wrong if I didn't give y'all these. Make sure I do drop a like if y'all have made it this far in the video. For the go-to shot, you use Bryce Sensible. I probably said that name wrong to be honest, but it is really good, easy to time. You hold right trigger and just hold your right stick up and you can cancel out of the animation or keep it up and then just time the jump shot. But it also does shoot you in front of your defenders a lot and then I just run right past them, or I'm already past them, and then I just run to the rim and take an easy dunk or layup that's wide open. For the dribble pull up, this is the most important shooting animation in the game, no doubt. Fading in this game is very overpowered, and honestly, sometimes you do accidentally fade. And when I accidentally fade, I will not lie, there are a lot of times I do green it, just because this is so easy to fade with. The front fade animation is slow, but it's really easy to use as well. This is what I use on my small guard, my popper, and my lockdown, and also my iso lockdown I'm on right now, Pro 3. For the spin jumper, I use Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma is really good, it's really fast, you see the animation right there. And then this ugly animation right here, is actually super easy to time as well. But that one right there when you're running to the rim is super effective and fast. For the hop jumper, I use Jordan Clarkson, but I don't really shoot out of this animation to be honest. I really just use this for the animation that you get if you hold right trigger and flick right on the stick or hold right on the stick. Post fade, Harrison Barnes, super easy to time. And then post hop shot is Harrison Barnes. I don't really do this much, but if you do, it's really clean and easy to use. So I'd use that. But that is it for this man make sure y'all do let me know in the comments down below if y'all do enjoy this jump shot i do love getting feedback on all my videos i appreciate the support i've been getting recently i'm going to stay consistent throughout this whole year i'm also going to be dropping this amazing two-way perimeter shot creator build very soon on the youtube so make sure y'all do sub up and turn on the noties as well so y'all do not miss that like i said though i really do appreciate the support i've been getting i'm going to stay consistent through this whole year with videos i'm going to be doing a lot of wagers as well this year and i'm going to be doing a lot of live streams as i've been doing right now so I appreciate y'all and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.